Yeah, yeah. We, well, I know we've been waiting for this for a very long time. I'm not too well versed in the Sandman uh, universe as you are, because I know you've kind of read a lot more. Uh, for, I have actually never read <laughs> a single Sandman book, so <laughs> uh, yeah, you for sure know a lot more than I do. But uh, I do know that this is this uh, has been in limbo for a very long time. I know that yes. they've been trying to do it into a movie, and then the movie was there was even a movie has supposed to happen like a few years back, and it was supposed mm -hmm. to even have that one up and coming actor. What was his name? Um, Oh. Let's say like jo jo Joseph uh, Gordon Levitt or something. Yeah, was I mean, it was probably Levitt. Yeah, I think it so, was. He was in that movie, The Looper. Um, yeah, that, uh, I know the one you're talking about. Yeah, and, yeah, he was supposed to be in it, and um, and I'm not gonna lie, yeah, usually, <laughs> usually I don't say anything about it, but I'm actually so glad he didn't get that part and that didn't go through. The you not like even, the because they show who's playing Sandman. Yeah, in this they one? did. They absolutely showed, and he is the i don't know as far as acting but visually he's visually, one of the best casting like, choices like i've like ever a seen. weird looking hair going on it's, that it's, i see from the comic covers all uh, the time they ha they're not doing that yet but even beyond that like i i almost want to pull it up and put it on the thing because like if you look at his uh face i'm going to show it off to the people one more time real quick and then i'll show a picture of fucking um of morpheus uh so just to show people real quick there is uh the face and for the big i think characteristics that are important to look at are the shape of the face and then like the jawline and the cheekbones and then if you go to uh just vertigo sandman pretty much easy to 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 do and you look at uh, morpheus he very much has a very like this one specifically of the classic Morpheus. Uh, is a very good example of it, where you see he has this like kind of squarish face with these kind of sunken in face bones, uh -huh. and these like deep caverned eyes. So like, as as far as physical casting goes, like as soon as I saw him, I was like, wow, that's actually a a that's really, cool. yeah, that's really good. good casting choice. Just my opinion. Um, the other thing is, I'm glad they didn't make a movie. Just it's period. More, more of a series. It's more of a series story. It's okay. a it's a journey. It's not a like a culmination. You know what I mean? Like hell, the first the first chapter is like covers ninety years or something worth of time, or the first two chapters. So it's it's like this big cover of like a lifetime's worth of things going on, and then this big story unraveling from it and it's really cool like I, I i gotta say easily from this the vertigo right like lines sandman's my favorite character like morpheus is even above like lucifer and stuff easily my favorite character it's just a, such an interesting character to like be written and how he interacts and how the whole story goes is really well done so nice yeah, hopefully they'll do it well in the series, though. Yeah, I'll definitely check out the the uh, show and see how it's going. Um, with I guess the Netflix uh, stuff uh, that we're talking about, uh, they showed us the uh, intro for the Cowboy Bebop, and it oh, looks yes. so good. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, it's gonna be that same kind of you know intro that we're all gone, uh, grown to love and everything. Yeah. Um, but it feels a little bit, I guess, more. Not modernized, but just more, I guess, because it's redone for this series. Um, just has a new, fresh take to it. And yeah. uh, other than that, it's, uh, yeah, can't wait for it. The, they literally just did almost the same exact, you know, title sequence that we get from the anime show. So it's really yeah. cool. We get those, like, kind of, like, spy-looking uh, 007 kind of, like, scenes almost. Um, yeah, it's very, very much Bondish. Uh, yeah. As far, and even the original Cowboy Bebop is, like, this Bond intro right with jazz music and right which is great um but yeah i think it did follow the things and especially after they had that whole controversy with Faye already i think it was a good you know uh yeah. play to just kind of stick to the comic or the, the anime dropping soon right um i feel like it's supposed to come out i feel uh, like it's coming out in november i want to say yeah come in November, yeah, looks like. Okay, nice. Nineteenth. Okay, cool. 
Only Very 10 nice. episodes, so we'll see how it runs and how they're going to, like... I, I wonder if they're going to do the same story, if they're just going to, like... I don't know, yeah, because the they... characters. They said they were saying something that it wasn't going to be the same, but it was supposed to. What did they say? I can't remember, but it wasn't supposed to be a rehash of the whole right anime. series. Yeah, but so, so supposed to be an expansion of it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we're we're just gonna kind of have to let it go and see with time. Uh, I'm excited to see it. I know that the forums are kind of up and down on it, but that's pretty much always the case for live action anime before it comes out. They're gonna they're like half of people are really excited, and half of people are like they're gonna ruin it. Like so. I don't yeah. think that's. I don't think that's. I I, I don't know. This one, I just don't feel like that's going to be the case with this one. Hopefully, hopefully. it's just they have so much going I, on with it. They I have the like, the composer. They I, there's they I have like you know the same style. Lot, yeah, there's there's a lot that um is going for it in its strengths of like being able to be adapted. Like it ha- like you said, so it's not like a crazy anime right. with like one piece where yeah like that's right or to. even naruto or something right where there's going to be a giant fucking fiery explosion every two episodes or something uh and once again no offense to those shows it's just saying those don't adapt as well to live action it's not which is silly to say because then you go on youtube and see all these fan-made versions of these same anime done mm-hmm. well so it's like i don't know maybe it's just the producer but regardless like this one has a lot going for it one uh it's able to be moved you have the composer coming over uh it doesn't seem like they're gonna make a ton of changes right like it like i i mean i forgot yeah, it, yeah. yeah. It, i mean you can't really mess up too i'm too that much was rip, yeah right? and that was what i was gonna say is even if they messed it up like as bad as they could it, cowboy bebop's just so good how bad could you possibly screw it up but at the same time i guess that gives it a, a wider margin of messing it up like even the though the end product will still be better than some things like that means you still have a lot more area to be like well it was this good and now it's only this good but that's once again if it loses quality or blah 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 and i think it's once again one of those one of those shows in anime that can absolutely be done well into a live action thing right like there are anime that do it right uh in yushika Kenshin was a good one I yeah thought. Kenshin did pretty good and once again they're usually anime that for the most part are not these crazy um right uh m- main shonen like naruto or dragon ball z or one piece they're usually a little more down to earth and human like Roroni Kenshin which yeah it's a little fantastical but it's basically sword fighting right like at the end of the day it's hyped sword fighting with you know like fire moves sometimes there's you know creative vortex blah 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 but none of that is like visually difficult to like interpret into live action mm-hmm. whereas like even um even some of the, like the the small anime things like I always think of when they go with their heads really big chibi style and they're like yelling or something like that just doesn't that's not gonna that that'll never translate to live action in that same comedic style right so but i think cowboy bebop is gonna be good i think it's pro it probably is gonna be the best live action adaption we've gotten so far just just projecting it realistically yeah that's just yeah i think i think i have i say i think i like i said i don't have no uh I don't really have low expectations for it, so yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm I'm coming in with some high hopes at the. <laughs> well, uh, I'm I'm trying not to get them too high, but I don't have low, right? Like I don't. It's not like when like the One Piece one where I'm just expecting it to be absolute garbage. Yeah, anything I know. Better yeah, than yeah, absolute I know you were really mad when I said about the script is already starting to come out. I've yeah, been mad, like, no. and I've been mad like since they said <laughs> they were gonna make this. I'm just mad they went through with it, right? Like yeah, one yeah. one the, f- the anime is not fucking finished. The the manga is not even finished. Mm -hmm. so like most of the time when you start an anime or some series like that and then before it's finished it's not it's gonna have issues well to me to me i feel like i don't know what would they do with all that many episodes would they just kind of do their own thing at this point i think they just say i will i don't know man because here's the thing it's like yeah there's so many episodes but that's not a bad thing for a tv company oh no no for them, they want as many episodes as they can realistically sell you and get away with making money. Mm-hmm. So if you know if they can make twelve seasons of Scrubs or 
or you know, I, it's... I, I, you know, I, that was a, yeah, very particular for a set of humor right there. I could watch LA Few, but then I was like, I'm done with Scrubs, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Scrubs <laughs> is one of those ones that uh, I go back to every once in a while and watch. It's definitely not as bingeable as most shows are. One thing I will always say in Scrubs' defense is it literally, with like almost no exception, has the most accurate depiction of the medical practice on television. That's, that's what I've heard. I've heard that, that from us. So fucking like, there's no made up diseases. There's no like all of the things they do are very realistic, like orderly or nurse and doctor things, and it's just so fucking uh, funny that this comedy show. That is absolutely ridiculous in every way, right? Like Scrubs is a Scrubs is right. one of those early ridiculous shows. Yeah, um, <laughs> is just but, accurate. Yeah, it's so stupid. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it was so stupid, but it was very accurate in the yeah, least. Yeah, so <laughs> so, and, that, and that's dumb to me, right? That's what's dumb to me and stupid is not that the show is itself stupid, but that it's stupid, but it's getting the medical shit right, whereas the the supposedly real medical shows like uh whatever uh i guess like house but not really even house the uh what's it gray's cr or some shit gray's gray's anatomy oh yeah 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 like those shows are just like kind of hand and foot with it they're just like off the cuff with that medical shit just like yeah yeah <laughs> get that medical just sc- sprinkle on some words and and call it a transplant <laughs> no but uh i do i do think it's going to be uh bad one yeah, piece, that's one piece yeah. live action is going to be bad. I think yeah. it just goes without saying. And and I get liking One Piece and hoping it would be good. You know, I can hope, but I don't have a lot of hope. And I'm pretty yeah, sure it's right. going to be bad. <laughs> just um, yeah. I was going to say sorry. The uh, there was since we're still on Netflix, um, Stranger Things finally put out like a like an official trailer. Yeah, for what um, is it, season four or five? Yeah. I guess there's an Easter egg, though, but I guess that's supposed to be Robert England's house or something. I don't know. I might have read it wrong. I have to go ahead and read it. I, read it, again. it just, but, um, I don't know. For me, that kind of Easter egg is, like, cool, but, like... It's called the Creole House. Oh, okay. Actually, that is an Easter egg of, like, beyond just being his house. Yeah, so there's more things. That's what yeah, I heard. Yeah, there's, like, a history it. behind the Creole House. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so they, they gave us a little bit more of that. Um, so, yeah, uh, um, can't wait for it. Finally, like, I think we got the last one was in 2019, July. Um, yeah. Was and, last season. So, yeah, we, we yeah. kind of skipped that whole 2020 season. To be fair, they, they basically went into production right at the, probably, like, the end of the year or whatever. And then once, uh, once 2020 started, they just said, screw it and waited instead of like putting a bunch into production because that's what i'm guessing i don't actually know but uh I, yeah yeah i i do think that uh it's gonna be pretty good i mean basically all the seasons of stranger things have been solid uh i really didn't get too much past the first season i watched the second season i think but i didn't get like super deep into it but uh it's been just a solid show from what i've heard and uh, it, it's always been one of my favorite I, you know when I first saw the first thing, you know what actually just got me hooked on? I think it was just the music. I'm I'm a huge like sucker for eighties like yeah. type like retro anything. I don't know why. I feel like I was born sometimes in the <laughs> wrong age, but um yeah, I'm just a sucker for just eighties movies, eighties music, eighties just yeah. anything. Eighties eighties stuff is great. I think what I got caught on was the first season being kind of like styled around Dungeons and Dragons in a lot of way. Right. And then I'm like, talking about X Men comics and just Yeah, like, they were very good. much like into this and so I was like, Yeah, I'll watch these kids try to fight a monster and uncover a secret government plot. Why not? You know? Right. And then um season two was pretty good. And then I think I just kinda like didn't have the motivation to like watch season three. I didn't feel like a pull at the end yeah, you, of season two. I see. Yeah, definitely check it out. I mean it, it gets pretty good where for it's going so far. I think four is gonna be even uh well, cooler hoping... it's gonna be like a haunted house type style well and that's uh, what i'm just... wondering so so far and maybe you could tell me different because you've seen three but so far i don't feel like the besides the characters being like the main characters of their adventure or whatever it doesn't feel like the adventures themselves are necessarily like super connected in any way like wasn't season three about some kind of like russian super plot yeah there's um 
it kind of goes into that now where there's uh, the Russians are kind of getting involved and I have to kind of even rewatch it too because it's been two years since they've seen it. Right. Uh, I'd have to, but yeah, what you're saying yeah, was from I remember yeah, the other the Russians kind of got involved into it towards the end and it was kind of like more of that Cold War era, I guess you could say. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, it's based uh, in the 80s, so like. Yeah, so there was that going on and then. Um, because what was yes. the monster from season three? Wasn't it like the uh, giant weird? Ended up being like a bigger, yeah. Uh, mon- it's pre- it's it's basically I think the one that we seen in season like two, what was two or one. yeah. Remember when he seen he sees the will sees the big giant monster out there and then just really quick. I think it, that that ends up being the one that they fight in season three. Okay. Because uh, I saw it, like I said, I saw bits and pieces here of season three. I just didn't end up like watching the whole thing. And uh, I think the reason I didn't come back on season three as opposed to season two was that kind of lack of like a very heavy story thread. Because a little bit what Stranger Things feels like to me is just a little bit kind of like the old like Nancy Beale or Boxcar uh, kids uh, books or even like Goosebumps books, but not really Goosebumps books. Because they didn't have recurring characters, right? Whereas, like, Nancy McBeal was, like... Or even Scooby-Doo, right? Like, where you have um, the characters who are, like, the main... And, yeah, they may have powers or be tied in. But they're really, like, dealing with this problem. And then the next season or the next episode, they have a new kind of, like, monster and problem to deal with. Yeah. Yeah, and it still evolves around the upside-down kind of... But it's always evolved. They always end up kind of thinking it's over but then they always get pulled right back into it's ends up being an upside down kind of so it's always uh, at li- well at least it's always the upside down that's connected yeah it's it never over. nothing really yet uh, like they never go really into nothing different of anything it's always ends up being like somehow some way the upside down came back or it's this or that <laughs> right um, at, at least that's a very like consistent plot Thre- yeah. plot piece it's not really a thread necessarily you no know, i really i do enjoy it too because i really like all the characters i always like the uh, i think was it see maybe that's why uh you don't see her too season three they added a new character um i think her name is Susie. she's a she's one of the redheads uh, but they had, uh, yeah, added her. They added for the romantic part of season three. Yeah, because the kids are getting nothing older. Wrong with it. Yeah, they're, they're getting, getting older, I'm, I'm which not, is kind of oh, yeah, crazy to watch. Just... You know, from one to two, and then three, you're like, oh wow, these kids are kind of. Well, but yeah, nuts. in real life, if it's two or three years between seasons, right, yeah, right, right. Like, right. Now it's... they're gonna have to like. That's what I wonder, and it, and I wish sometimes that they, t- like, the only movie that did that probably correctly was the Harry Potter movies. And yeah, even and that's they what it kind of feels like. Yeah, like that's it almost feels like that, you know, because you're seeing every movie you see, you, like it, especially when we fi- when we finally got to see the last Harry Potter. You're like, Harry, uh, Harry's a man now. He's a grown ass. <laughs> well, and especially because at that time they were, they had actually already been grown right for a while. Because I remember they started off at like what eleven. They were all this Adam, age they were supposed yeah. to be in the movie, basically, or maybe like a little older or younger. And really, I think it's it, is a really kind of ambitious you know kind oh, of thing super ambitious to to try to keep these kid actors for eight movies i was gonna say seven right. but it was eight movies yeah because they did that two-parter right yeah yeah, yeah. and i don't blame him because that is a long-ass book but yeah man like definitely um i i like the feel of progression i wonder how they're gonna address it as the kids start getting too old to really portray kid kids because they're uh-huh. going to be teenagers and then adults. And adults can always portray teenagers, but not kids. No. Yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see how... I mean, we'll see, I guess, where 4 yeah. goes, where these guys... I guess that's, Yeah. Maybe I should just go back and watch 3. Because I think... I, I kind of mostly remember 1 and 2. De- de- definitely part. check out 3. Yeah, you'll, you'll like it. It's a kind of... It's a good, uh, good season. And... Um, like I said, again, I'm just a sucker for the 80s stuff, so that's kind of yeah. what uh, gets the me into. The 80s stuff is always good, yeah. But um, let's see. Oh, there was one other thing that was supposed to come out on Netflix. I, I can't remember. My, my phone died now. I guess I'll have to pull it out of my <laughs> my little trusty uh, laptop here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I feel like I have so much shit now to fucking look up. I actually can't even find my phone. <laughs> Uh, and I lost. Uh, I was looking for some too early. I don't know if anybody's seen me, but I was looking for 
uh, the co- he fell and I lost his little cosmic cube, so now I gotta find it somewhere. Oh, <laughs> but um, you can't let that go missing. That's the you know greatest source of power in the universe, <laughs> at least in the comics. Oh, tiny. <laughs> so why is it so um, small? It's so powerful. Let's see. Um, I had a few things here. I know because we missed uh, last week. Yeah. It's like yeah, sorry, sorry, I didn't even get to message you back on that day for it. No worries, uh, man. I figured you were probably just busy, and I get it because I was like running a million miles. So like after an hour, I was like, all right, well, I haven't really heard back from him. I'm just gonna assume that he's busy today and go work because I have a bunch of shit to do. And I was like, all right, cool. Oh, oh here's the big one. Um, so Nintendo had, I guess, their one of their Nintendo Direct shows. Oh, yeah. um, and it's mostly just for their video games they usually show yeah, or yeah. new consoles too that they're showing off there but uh like i guess weird new well not really weird news but uh, it was just kind of crazy to see movie news <laughs> coming from there yeah and, with uh, the whole chris pratt yeah yeah so they announced it's not going to be a live action but it's an animated uh oh, okay. but it's going to be done by uh illumination who's done you know the minions the yeah Spickle they've done movie. some good movies yeah uh, yeah so uh I, it's going to be done by a good studio um, I think they Illumination even has like some stuff even in Japan too, like Rise. I I can't remember, but um. Yeah. Anyway, so there's a big list of people that are gonna be on this list. Uh, some of them I kind of don't know, so I but there's a lot of them I do know. So I know we know Chris Pratt's gonna be um, Mario, and a lot of people are even now kind of happy about that. And like you said, there's a lot of people that were not not too happy about that. I, um, I think it's gonna be honestly a good fit to me. I think Chris Pratt can do. A good Mario. I don't know. We'll see. I've He's anime, anyways, I, I, right? I guess it he all does depends. very good. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it all depends on how his Mario is. Stereotypical I guess, Italian accent yeah, is because that that's how thing, that's like, Mario's you, voice. That's the thing, though. Like, do you want to go in like that? Like, very. I don't but, know. Do right? You, are you going to do that though, or are you just going to go with a brand new voice for Mario, who in every single game in history is voiced as a stereotypical Italian man, like? I know that's I, just we'll so, see because when they even did the, the original Super Live Act, the actual live action one with uh yeah I remember the Super Mario Bros yeah that one uh he he didn't they were all from Brooklyn so they had some Brooklyn accent yeah <laughs> and that didn't turn out too well at all no 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 but you know that... funny, a lot of people come still out and just say like this is still like a movie that people still watch and talk about till this day oh it's no fun. I mean I've seen it probably more than once actually so it's, yeah, it, yeah and no. it's not like it's I, all right, I won't it, say it's not a bad movie, but for it's what it is and is it and its time, people forget that that movie came out in what the eighties. Yeah, it was probably like maybe late eighties. I think it was in the eighties. So yeah, for like, the for the time, it, it really was it's not the worst it's thing that ever came out. Honestly, you know what I mean. When you go look at the Marvel's original Fantastic Four, you know what I mean. That is is pure trash. Yeah, um, was that a TV show or was that I think a movie? It, it never even got out. It was. It was oh, you're right. It never. Or whatever. Yeah, I like yeah. came out. Never, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You're right. That, it was garbage. It was absolute pure <laughs> trash. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm not afraid to say that. <laughs> but there's uh, so it's some other on this list here. Uh, you might know this one, Anya Taylor jo- uh, Joy, who's um, done. Have you seen the uh, show from Netflix called The Gambit? No, but I've heard it. Oh, well then, it. have you? Okay, well, have you seen uh, you've seen New Mutants, right? The the girl yeah. who played Magic. I yes, okay, then yeah, I know yeah. the show you're talking about. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. so she she's gonna be uh, Princess Peach. Uh, <laughs> this one I was very excited for. They're having Charlie Day in here, and he's gonna be uh, Toad. <laughs> yeah, right. right. I, oh. I mean, I, my problem is when they do when they do major celebrities as voice actors, they basically voice. the themselves pretty much yeah pretty which much is fine I, I mean that's why i was kind of excited to hear charlie just do a toad yeah. voice. like that's gonna be hilarious. Hey, hey, I think. what are we gonna do today <laughs> what are we so doing we'll um now jack black might be a little bit of a different story he may yeah, do he's bowser something. right yeah he's yeah, gonna be bowser, he will, so though. He, yeah he yeah. may do something but to be fair uh, his regular speaking voice does that so it's like <laughs> He, it's not like he's doing a character he does that in real life where he just chases like and then i'm coming down the mountain Oh, wow. and, uh, we have Seth Rogen, who was uh, it's not, I can't remember who he was going to play. Um, um, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up on my list here. But he was on there. And then the other one that was uh, – oh, Keegan-Michael Key was going to be on there too as well. He could do a uh, voice as well. 
he might yeah so I, he might do his uh own little voices yeah um but let's see that i think who is he playing on uh super I think he's gonna be still so this uh this poster just shows me all the names but it doesn't actually show me who's playing uh let's see let's see um oh you know what he, i think he might have been luigi that that makes sense yeah that that would be pretty cool so he, he's gonna be luigi um here let's see uh and Seth rogan, i can't remember who he was gonna be but um yeah so and then there's a like i said there's a couple other characters uh, seth rogan is donkey kong there we go. That's what it was. How did I forget that one? That, and that's uh, that was kind of a weird, uh, not weird, but like um, kinda was kind of yeah. offbeat, you know, kind of yeah. out there, you know, because Donkey Kong's not really normally in the Mushroom Kingdom very often. So well, well maybe I'll do the original. Uh, yeah, the original. That's what I was gonna say. Is the original Mario is Donkey Kong? So so they may do that one. That makes more probably, sense, I guess. If they do yeah, that. I, I guess I could get that because I had just thought about the barrel game too. And I was like, that's actually his original appearance. So that would I actually think that's both of their original appearances is in that uh, Donkey Kong video game, which uh, is so Charles... funny. Oh, we're sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, no, I was just saying that's funny. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there and like I said, there's a couple other ones. Fred's Armesian. I don't know who he is. I've uh, never heard that. Kevin Mike. There we Sorry, go. Got the uh, IMDb up. You got Cam yeah. as Kevin Michael Richardson. Uh, and then Charles Mar Marnet. I don't know who that is. And I see. Yeah, so there's a couple of these uh, guys I've never heard. And you know, I probably have seen them, but it's just I don't know their names by yes. heart. Yeah, absolutely. Because I know I don't know Sebastian Maniscalco by name, but I guarantee you he's been in some stuff just based on a name like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's been in Tag and The Irishman and a bunch okay. and some other stuff. Okay. That's why I was saying it looks like they're doing the famous actor route. And as much as I'm not necessarily always a super fan of that idea, historically speaking, it's actually usually worked out pretty well because even though they're not voice actors, they are actors and are used to running lines. So they're usually not terrible voice actors, right? Like maybe not the most impressive all the time, but they're usually pretty good. And uh, speaking from like a sales point, like just having them in the movie boosts sales. You know what I mean? So it's like it's it's not a bad decision for the company. I always just find it rough because once again they don't always do voices. So if the casting choice isn't good, the the part just doesn't end up good. Right. But these seem like pretty good choices. I think my only the only oh wait. I guess Charlie Day is Luigi. Oh, sorry, sorry. I mixed that up then. Sorry. Charlie yeah, Day. No, Charlie Day is, which actually is okay. And he, my key and my pill will be, yeah, or sorry, yeah, he toad. will be the uh, toad. There we go. You're right. I just noticed that. Once again, I'm just looking at the IMDb and just barely noticed it. Um, But yeah, it. I, I think that for the most part, you know, I actually think Charlie Day would have done better as Toad. But besides, no, just thinking about that, I was like, I really like yeah. the idea of him being Toad and now I wish he was, um, but yeah, the only the only person actually on the list who kind of I'm questioning is Mario's voice is Chris Pratt, if he just does a, his regular Chris Pratt voice. But right, I I don't know. I mean, maybe it'll look really good. I just I gotta look see it come out of Mario's or hear it come out of Mario's mouth. You know what I mean? To see how I feel about it, because I have You're no right. idea. Well, well, yeah, we'll have to see what's gonna happen. I mean, I think oh, it would be a good sure, movie sure. regardless. Yeah, I think that would, yeah, I think, like I said, even the animation I think will be great anyways yeah. because, again, the illumination will be on it. But uh, yeah. a, a couple other yeah. things that came out of that Nintendo Direct is, which I was kind of excited, is they're going to be adding Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis games now into the Switch. Okay. Um, that's that's going to be an I expansion class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the only thing is, though, it's going to be now a new pricing on this membership. So... I think the pricing was pretty cheap anyways. I think you're only paying like 15 or $10, I think, online for their service. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping they're not going to bump it up too much. Maybe 25 will be the new price. Or maybe 30 30 might be the new price tag for their... Uh, if you want to play the Nintendo 64 and then Sega Genesis stuff. Oh, mm -hmm. and what they're even doing is they're even releasing Bluetooth uh, uh, controllers. That's pretty <laughs> cool, actually. That's the future we've needed. 
Um, <laughs> that, that's what we've always needed for the old school games. No, but uh, I think it's a good... I think that's a reasonable... Like, I think it's reasonable to charge more for that. It's going to cost them more programming and power to do that. So Right. And, and even just this, in the sense of, like, one, they know people are using ROM hacks. Like... They exist and people use them. And the right. reason is that they are no longer like repairing or making these consoles to play these old games. Like eventually your console craps out and dies. Doesn't matter how good you take care of it. Um Yeah, there goes the camera. Uh but I think it's a good idea for them because once again they're they're just losing possible money, right? Like uh, some like yes, some people intentionally are using hat ROMs and hacks and downloads because then, they don't. Like, I was like really cracking down on that. Like there was that one guy, did you hear who just got a, a, a suit for him? Now he has to pay back. I don't know how much to Nintendo. Cool. And then um, he just claims bankruptcy and never has to pay a dime. <laughs> like it's a cool idea. There's no way to stop it there. I, I could tell you from a logistical point of a, as having, having to do with music and stuff, there's no stopping it. There's no stopping no, no. people from stealing what you have once it's out in the world. Like, you can try to crack no. down as much as you want. They get one guy out of the hundred million people illegally downloading stuff every day. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're not saving any money. They're not stopping this shit. They how many times have they tried to kill uh, Pirate Bay? How many times have they tried to kill all these sites? Right. The the truth is that they. They function in an area of the law that's gray, and even if they didn't, criminals don't care. Criminals don't follow laws. <laughs> criminals download stuff illegally right. and steal yeah. things. <laughs> so it's it's always like they, they crack down as much as they can, but they're never going to stop it. The best they'll ever do. It's like the war on drugs, right? You can't win the war on drugs. Right, the, right. The, it's, a, it's a losing war. You shouldn't have fought the war. And it's the same with piracy. You cannot win the war on piracy. You just reduce it as much as you possibly can. Uh -huh. um, and one of the ways to reduce piracy is by having the product available, right? How do you reduce drug use, Ill illegal drug use, make drugs legally available through specific channels? Uh -huh. That's And so it's the same thing with those games, right? Like people, not everybody was using a, a ROM or hacking into steel, right? They were they, some of them are doing it because there is no second option to go buy it somewhere. You know, not not everybody, but I'd like to believe that a good amount of people, when given a viable option, will choose to pay for something <laughs> and support their taste. I'd hope. Right. Right. Mm, so well, 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 they're they're gonna be. I don't know when that's supposed to be launching. Uh, um, not saying on the list here, but it just says that they're going to be doing a new pricing. Oh, yeah, timing and more details will be shared soon. So there's, yeah, nothing been really announced yet except that they're going to be bringing those to the Switch. Oh, and it's going to be Nintendo Switch Online. So yeah. does that mean now we can play online games now, these old school games? <laughs> that would be even cooler. I'd be down for all that. I'm uh, Old school I'd, I'd uh, be down. Mario Kart yeah. or multiplayer, or, you know, just anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of some other game. Oh, Double O Seven would be. Cool. Oh, that would Almost. actually be a really good one. Yeah, I I somehow doubt it because <laughs> they'd have to code in every game for multiplayer, which would be a pain in the ass. But what I'm hoping, and what I suspect, is that it means that you can only play those games when you're online, which would yeah. kind of be yeah. right, I, right. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what I guess we'll see when the more announcements come. They just that's yeah. pr they're pretty vague on everything right now with this. To be um, fair, that's Nintendo in a nutshell. So, and then uh, uh, there was some other things they announced, which was oh, I, I was actually kind of well, me uh, me and Isaiah were excited for this one, but uh, they're going to be doing uh, Kirby, but this is going to be oh. the first time that he's been done in 3D and it's a platforming adventure. Um, that's it looked be really cool. cool. I know it's so, uh, really cool. Yeah. I know my cousin will really like that. He's a super big Kirby fan. Definitely, uh, if you have to show it to me if you haven't seen it. So I think he'll yeah. really uh, be excited for that. Yeah, so uh, they announced that. Some more Monster Hunter stuff. Just an expansion or DLC for the new Monster Hunter game that came out. 
Yeah. And there's some other things that came out, but them just really weren't, you know, things that were kind of like, wow. I think we got a new Metroid trailer, um, which I'm excited for still too, but uh, I think that's supposed to come out next year. But that's pretty much it. it was just those are the pretty big things there. Um, I from think they Nintendo. had some uh, Bayonetta. That was it. They're doing another Bayonetta. Oh, yeah. How did I forget that one? I thought they supposed to that one, but I guess they must forget that. But you're right. I think you might. Yeah, have. I, I never, did, yeah. I never you probably before, did, or else but, uh, I wouldn't have remembered. <laughs> I've never actually played any of the originals or anything, but I did watch the trailer and it looked pretty cool. I guess she's uh, wearing a new outfit for this game, is what oh, some that's, people were saying. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Bayonetta is just a. If you haven't played Bayonetta, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, best way I can like uh, compare it is like a combo bullet hell slash Devil May Cry kind of okay. thing. So okay. it's very much like yeah, you got a bunch of cinematics, and a lot of it is uh, <laughs> is about her having massive titties. But you know, besides that, <laughs> besides that, uh, it's still a pretty good game, and I'm excited for three, even though I haven't really played a ton of the other two i've played watch play and i've played a little but it they're usually very visually appealing games uh the other one was uh dying light 2 oh was it just uh because i thought that was uh that game was supposed to come out but then they put, pushed it back again didn't they yeah that's why this says it's pushed back to 2022 no, February? Wow, yeah. Was, February. Yeah, that was another one that got pushed back. There was something else I got pushed back too. I can't remember. Oh, a bunch of stuff. I'm sure. There's a bunch of games. Yeah, they're starting to get that just are doing that now. I don't know if it's just because now everyone's like afraid of like going down that cyberpunk 2077 route now. I mean, it's the problem is it's not just cyberpunk, right? It's been happening more and more often every All year. It's too ambitious now. Like there's just so much going on. Well, with they them just now. promise things they can't do, do right. right? Right, or means, or, right? or just promise it within time frames that are not realistic, right? No Man's Sky, yeah. right? Finally, like uh, I can't remember if it was this year, earlier this year. It well, it's not even just playable. Like apparently, the most recent patches have made it a really good game. Now it's finally basically what you wanted originally, which sounds lame, but that's still realistically speaking the most am one of the most ambitious games out there that exist in the forms of multiplayer expansionism and now that it's fixed all its little uh kind of fuck ups but the point being if they had just waited a couple years they could have fixed all that shit and yeah. released the game like that and it still would be impressive today right mm -hmm. if if had that game released and been what it said it was on the outset uh, kind of similar to Fallout 76, except for Bethesda yeah, that, didn't give a oh shit and did not that even. One. And, that and was then, terrible. I mean, that was really just Bethesda having an aneurysm because, holy shit, it wasn't even just the game. They fucked up every single part of that release. Like, I watched the I, video I, I, didn't, I had never played Fallout before, but I heard so many complaints coming I, out from it. Even beyond, like I said, I, I watched a video the other day just because I was, like, bored and letting shit autoplay. And fucking it, he's like, yeah, it wasn't even just the game. Then they released those bags. Remember, they had the whole bag issue. Oh yeah, I was hearing about that. Where too. they were supposed to have like these custom canvas bags, and then they gave out these like nylon pieces of shit for like a hundred dollars. <laughs> and uh, so they were like, they got a bunch of flack about that. They claimed they couldn't do it, and then they did the same thing when they released their like Nuke Cola liquor or something. It was just so wild to literally see how they fucked up every single step of the game and its release and like and then not fixing the problems. And so like it just seems to be happening more and more often. So even though delays are kind of shitty and I wish companies would either a give wider release date uh, instead of saying February, just say fucking 2022, then you can release it any time in 2022. Right, right like you get tw that's twelve months of leeway, and if you need more than that on your estimate on a on a game date, you're not planning. Yeah, and I think they just got to be more realistic. These investors yeah. too, that like these games are gonna come out like as quick as they want them to no. anymore. Uh, yeah, well, and they sh they shouldn't want unless they're willing to pour. Also, aid. another thing, like yeah, I've heard, you know, these ca these companies are also like these, you know, people who are actually working for them are like under really hard stress. Like they're going under these. Uh, I forgot what it's called. They don't call it like over work or overtime, and they call it something else. But it's like yeah. they just keep working and working for like nonstop, and it's like yeah, it, 
it, the conditions those people are working under now too is like uh, doesn't sound very nice anymore. Yeah, they really need to unionize. It, this and the shitty part is that if they do, it'll raise our prices most likely. Mostly because. <laughs> well, right, and the and the messed up part is it shouldn't like if I went into the full like breakdown of the, the economics of producing games or any product, and the give and take of what a production should be the but the. <laughs> Well, even issues. now, because like even now, I think things are kind of worse now with inflation, with shipping costs. Now, like I heard now, uh, USPS. I was just reading an email. Oh yeah, they're they gonna, had to up their prices they're gonna be, again. Yeah, they're going to be upping their prices again on October first. Yeah, for everything oh, wow. too, not just yeah, like so before cool. they were doing for specific ones, but they just need to. The thing that always fucks with me is like, and and I'm biased for the post office, but the post office is the only government agency that has to bankroll itself. Did you know that it gets no federal government taxes? Yeah, that's what I've heard. Actually, I did hear that before once. Yeah, it's just it, kind of crazy, right? You think and on, that's on top of we that, get all our most important stuff, right? And yep. And then on top of that, uh, the post office is the only company, basically in the entire United States, that's required to uh, pre basically pay out pensions, not to the people, but they need to have everybody's pension saved up prior. Like, they're not allowed to, like, cap it out or do any of this other stuff. So it's this whole fucked issue where they're, the legislation on the post office is so screwed. And despite being, like, getting all fucked over, Amazon and FedEx still ship all their probably, stuff to them. Yeah, almost, <laughs> like, a very high portion of the stuff. I know, I, I always get that. I always, like, it ends up being with Amazon and they end up sending it over to the post office. Or it starts yep. with them and then it, get, it starts at the uh, uh, FedEx office, and yeah. ends up going with them again. <laughs> yeah, it, and it really is. And there's definitely a couple reasons. But, yeah, it's it's wild to me because, like, it definitely the cost on inflations. Although, once again, some of that should be I guess, countered. too, with the ships, too, because that's what I... I was hearing too. There's a, again the ships can't dock again, and they're just sitting out there in the ocean, just waiting until because the docks are there's nobody working, nobody working the docks, no trucks coming in, no to pull all the stuff out. So that's also yeah. like causing an it's, issue too. It's kind all of, the toy community's been talking about it too, and yeah. like our toys are going up in price too. Like it used to be 19.99, now prices for toys are going up to like 24 dollars. Yep, and well, the messed up part is like. And I'm not going to lie, like, there's some of it that's natural and un unavoidable, some mm -hmm. portion of inflation. Most inflation in America is caused by Greek executives. They, mm -hmm. They're not willing to take any kind of portion of pay cut to their exorbitant salary. So even though they definitely can afford to cover the costs that they should be paying for employees and shipping and et cetera, they just don't. They just <laughs> rather raise the price. <laughs> And right. we just keep buying their garbage products, so they just keep making money. Like, at this point, I've literally just, like, anybody who doesn't, like, uh, offer a decent over-under or have, like, a I just stop buying from them if I can help it. Because it's, like, even, like, the Amazon stuff, like, I still do, but I order as little off of Amazon as I possibly can. Because it's just not going to like i'm feeding into the thing that's causing everything to get more expensive and that like amazon doesn't make other shit cheaper because you ev because it owns everything that's not how it actually works hmm. like it seems that way but it's uh false inflation so it's it's rough stuff i'm hoping that they figure it out but yeah the 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 other thing is like some of those costs should be offset by the fact that half of people play games through sh fucking streaming now don't even have physical media yeah that's not yeah so like they they always have what i feel like are these ex like somewhat thin excuses for not like toys make sense as a physical object right and there's no getting around the fact someone's got to ship that to you mm -hmm. but like I yeah, coming like, from coming from China because that's all that's where all the toys get made. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's a whole nother, you know, you could talk about that and uh, you know outsourcing and uh, all that yeah. jazz and why. That's a whole other another. Yeah, there's just there's just so much that get yeah that comes into just everything and. Yep. But uh, I know, yeah, I know. Just that we all talk the toy guys because they just, a lot of, a lot of these guys can get a little impatient too sometimes. And it's uh, just I like, mean, everybody does when something's not. The, and the problem is they've been promised, right? They've been told. Yeah, that's, that's true. Like too. I don't, I don't feel yeah. like it's unreasonable. Now you shouldn't be a total dick about it, right? You don't, you don't, 
yeah, you know, right. you don't call like even watching those videos, right? You don't call someone because because you didn't like the game or you didn't receive your game on time. You don't call someone and give them death threats or tell them that they should go kill themselves or something, right? Or like be a total asshole. But you're totally justified in being angry that you didn't get what you were basically guaranteed for money. <laughs> I mean, like right now, the thing that I've been waiting for the longest because of all this COVID stuff that's happened was uh, this comic book that I had ordered from. Uh... Frankie's comic, which is I'm I'm okay waiting because I understand what's going on because like I had gotten it signed and graded, so it had to go get signed all the way out in Japan because that's where the artist was. Right. And then, um, then after that, it had to get sent back and then go to CGC to get graded. And I heard CGC has just been terrible at getting books back at, to you on like uh, as fast as they used to now. I like fa- people are like fast tracking. Is CGC the, the new one or the old one? Uh, the new, uh, old one so cbcs is the the new one that yeah. came out there was some guys that worked at cgc and then started their own company but there, yeah, yeah. Th- some people are kind of saying cbcs is kind of just as good now and it's just I, your preference really but. yeah no i i was just going to say that if it's the old one it, i kind of expect it to be a little um yes they, they so, just kind of used to being on top so they're kind of like it's we've talked about how they kind of fuck o- not fuck over but it kind of like Oh, sorry, your books got all r- messed up, or your box was folded. You know what I mean? Or, yeah, there's like yeah, that we, two stories of people getting their stuff back. In yeah, the case. just bad packing. Yeah. Or and, yeah, yeah, but, just uh, other things. So it, it's not necessarily surprising. Still not cool, but uh, yeah, yeah, just what it is. It is, I guess. You just kind of, I just say, I just say, kind of whatever now at this point it's gonna come when it comes i guess right and it, <laughs> i mean and, they did yeah. say it's at the office getting graded now so that and that was back in june so let's see that i probably won't see it until i'm gonna tell you probably till november hopefully we'll see fingers crossed <laughs> but um yeah i, I guess like I said, it's just kind of is what it is right now for the time being hopefully things will go back to normal and or not like I don't know if they will go, you know, as normal as we want it to be, but hopefully, you know, somewhat. <laughs> you know, it, you know what fucks with me, and I, I'm not gonna talk about it long because I don't like addressing it, but it's not like this is the first time shit like this has been a thing. Pandemics mm-hmm. hit about every fifty to a hundred years, give or take. Mm-hmm. And it right the, the, pisses me off is we're doing the same shit we did the last time, as far as like fucking it up. Mm-hmm. And and we know there's a way out. We like we did it already, right? Like we already beat smallpox. Like we right. we beat smallpox. We we did it. We killed it. We won. We won that fight. But, you know, I I don't know if in the current climate we're gonna be able to do the same thing that we did in the 1920s. <laughs> That's See, all I want to say about it. Uh, but yeah, I I my problem is I think there is a path back to normal, right? There 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 should absolutely be a path back to normal. Uh, whether just hopefully or not. everyone can get on board and get us back to there yeah. and not just complain about every little thing that you know comes well, our way or... and I get it for this and that but then you can't have your pie and eat it too right like if you don't want to do this well then right it's the idea of freedom versus safety yeah right you are free to not wear your seatbelt yeah you can fly right out that window though right you're you you you're it's a trade you cannot have absolute freedom and absolute safety you got to have a giveaway on one or the other and so it's the same thing for this cool you know if you want absolute freedom awesome but then you don't get absolutely everything else right you can't have all the nice toys and go to all the nice movies and bars and and this and that but yeah you know, once again, I, I don't want to harp on that because that's not the purpose of our show. Right. Uh, but, well, I, wa- I did want to... Oh, so yeah. I was going to say, though, um, what we did miss, which actually came out, I'm looking on my list here, came out the day after our last podcast was uh, the Hawkeye uh, trailer finally came out. and that actually Did we miss really- that? Yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, it was September 13th was the trailer, and I'm looking, our podcast was on the 12th. We must... <laughs> I swear so, it... Cause I swear we talked about it, but I guess not. Yeah, yeah. So I, I got that. Was, yeah, no, it but, was. Uh, yeah, it was cool. came out and uh, it looks good, and it's gonna be a yeah. Christmas themed. Uh, yes, one, which, which I think is probably. super f- diehardish. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
that, and I don't have a problem with it at all. I just think it's really funny because then people are going to start, well, is this a Christmas series? <laughs> So but, we'll see how that comes no, out. I'm excited. We'll see, got to see some Kate Bishop I, in there. I was gonna say, I think me and you are more excited even f- than for this series for what it entails as far as Young Avengers. Right. Like, yeah, definitely going that route. I hope. I hope. Absolutely. We'll see. <laughs> I, I think there's no doubt at this point. Honestly, like bef- before they needed to work for it, and I think we talked about that too because we had talked about people buying up the comics in preparation for the Young Avengers a couple years ago. Definitely, yeah. They're, that's been talked about for yeah for quite a while now. Yeah, and so uh, back then it wasn't a possibility, right? Not at that time. There was no immediate future where you were gonna get a Young Avengers movie. We are now in that time where the, in the next two to three years you could probably expect to maybe not in phase f- whatever we're in four, but probably by phase five you're gonna get a Young Avengers movie. I'm right. almost. I'd I'd, was, I'd put um, money on it. I'd put money on it for sure. I think there was even four um, confirmed or not confirmed, but there was four announced uh, movies that were supposed to come out too from Marvel. So four more now. We just don't know what they're going to be there. <laughs> right, which is so funny because we already have so many that we do know what they're going to be. Yeah, right. We're still Doctors. waiting for them. To come out. I mean, we still have how many this year? We still have Eternals, Spider Man. Oh, Spider Man at December, and then uh, next year. That- yeah. strange finally and then i can't remember what else is coming uh, out. let's let's take a quick look we actually haven't checked a, the pretty sure thor was on that list yeah as well. i think thor is for sure but i think there's something else we're forgetting uh let me see marvels and black panther wakanda forever oh okay both of those should come out uh, next year. I you there. Yeah, we see we'll have uh, they confirm Riri Williams will be in that Black Panther movie. Yeah, which I thought was an interesting place to include her. Right. I mean, I I, I almost oh. don't want to make the the reference, but it's kind of like the Anthony Mackie thing. Like, what you can only have black people direct and work on the black movie. It's we'll like. See. I mean, I get they they have Ryan Coogler doing like a bunch of their other stuff, right? Like he they've uh, no, yeah, now, I didn't mean like that. I just meant, no, I know and I can't that, remember yeah. who said that if it's Anthony Mackie or somebody else. But it's just that kind of thing. Is like, are you putting Riri Williams exactly. in Black Panther just because she's black? Exactly. Is that why yeah. she's going? Well, I, yeah, we'll see. I guess Unless so they the, make her the, from Wakanda. I don't know. Uh, that would be really weird to do her whole story like that because she's just really somebody from... I think that's almost why it works, though, because she doesn't have this big backstory like Miles or somebody else who... No, like, her, just what ends up happening with her story is that uh, her father and her best friend end up dying in, like, a drive-by and at the park, you know, with everyone there, like, families, everyone there, and they just... Right, but, but, but it, besides happening. that, yeah, she doesn't have, yeah, like, that's pretty a... Much it. Yeah, and she doesn't have an what, area specific one. No, and that's kind of what just kind of makes her want to be a superhero and she uses yeah. her smarts to make the the you know pretty yeah. much the Iron and once Man again not, not <laughs> and once again not giving any offense to the character, just saying some characters have very specific tied in stories that are hard to move around, right? Like uh I, mean, I guess you could I guess you could yeah change this one up. I mean I, there's I, I could see it. I don't think it would be a good idea, but right. I could see them trying it. Um I just think it's interesting she's appearing in that movie. I guess there's no more Iron Man, so it's not like she can <laughs> appear in any of those movies, right? Maybe that's why they couldn't do it in there. And I mean, it would be cool to see Riri and uh, Sh- uh, Shuri, you know, two of the yeah. smartest girls. So yeah, talking, I, I don't know, but that dynamic might be pretty cool. We'll see. Uh, we do have four more confirmed for uh, Phase 4, which is Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, which is where oh, we'll yeah, get King. Right. Uh, Guardians Volume 3, which should also be 2023. All these ones are in 2023 or TBA. Uh, Fantastic Four and Blade are both confirmed, just don't have any like hard facts on them. Okay. So like they're okay. supposed to All both right. be. but That's And then uh, we should be getting another season of What If. Uh, I think they've already confirmed another season. So. Nice. Some way for action figures are already starting to come out for those ones. They have That's going to be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, they have the Captain Mar or oh. Captain America, Marvel Zombies, Shit, and then they have uh, Captain uh, Carter. They have her. They have the Hydra Stomper. They did the uh, Watcher. It's him. He's part of the Builder figure of that wave right there. So you got to get all the figures to build him. Um, who else did they add in there? Um, 
Oh, uh, zombie, I guess, hunters, Peter Parker. He saw he's wearing like the, the Doctor Strange. Um... Yeah, yeah, that was a cool one. I, I feel like that one was totally a um, fake out. That was a super fake out for a trailer kind of thing where it was like, let's put this, the the cape on Peter and make it look like Spider-Man Sorcerer Supreme. Right. Um, right. I, uh, we are kind of getting towards pretty much the end of the thing here. I did want to mention one last thing as far as the phase four, which was the, um, uh, shit. The, the rest of the TV shows in phase four, cause there's actually a lot of them. Um, besides Hawkeye, which we get this year. Next year, we're going to get Miss Marvel, Moon Knight, She-Hulk, and a Secret Invasion series. Which Yeah, is... oh, they're right. There is a Secret Invasion. I forgot. There is that. We all want to see where that's, that's going to go. I, I was wondering how certain things were going to be working out because for a couple reasons, right? One, you had um, the whole tie-in for Fury at the end of Spider-Man Far From Home. Which oh, yeah. is obviously going to tie into the later Captain Marvel movies, but I think that's going to lead not only into this, uh, to that it'll lead into Secret Invasion. Mm. Those series will probably uh, included in those other ones. Uh, I think these ones are a little more tentative, but you have Ironheart, so it sounds like Riri's going to get oh, her yeah. own TV series. Oh, that's what they're going to do. Okay, they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to do a movie or not. You're right. I do remember they did announce an Ironheart uh, series. So yep. that's what and they actually about. already have the actress. Yeah, yeah, they. Uh, uh, yeah, there was uh, some screenshots of her actually on set of Wakanda. Oh, I so. haven't seen that. That's cool. Yeah. I've only she seen was, that. Just her like uh, yeah. you know regular retired clothes, clothes but yeah, civilian still. clothes. <laughs> uh, uh, not just yet, but. The net. The other one is going to be Armor Wars, which looks like it's going to be a Don oh, yeah, Cheadle that's with John Cheadle. Yeah, that's he's going to be in there. It's he said it's going to be crazy. He said he was. It, well, it should be if it's Armor Wars. Like it's it's going to be all CGI fight, right? Like it's got to be a huge part of it. Um, yeah, but I think I, it's just. I, I totally forgot about most of these. Yeah, it's just. I, just... I, oh, <laughs> I think it's more interesting though, and not to like throw shade on any of the other Marvel stars, but. Don Cheadle is easily one of the actors who came in early in the movies who already had a really good established acting career, had awards, right? Like, uh, whereas, like, Pratt and Downey and Evans and uh, Hemsworth were all... Chris Evans did that one, remember, movie... Uh... What was they had, remember he had the he had the pie on his. Yes, or no, remember, uh, American. <laughs> it was, it was like American. You know, it was like teenage or something. Teenage oh, teenage love. something story. Teenage remember. love story. Yeah, probably. Uh, it was. It was one of those. One of those. Uh, I bet you if I just type in Chris Evans in pie. <laughs> I don't even think it was pie. I think he just put like whipped cream and it, he put, it like, is, but on it. It, it, it's. <laughs> You know, I remember watching it. Not another teen. Movie. I didn't, and you know, I didn't even know that was him until somebody uh, posted. I just meme. forgot and I was it like, was. Oh him. wow, I didn't I I know that forgot. was him. Uh, it's not another teen movie. Is the name? Uh, there we go. So that's what it was. Another teen but movie. With the ex- with with the, as those guys, you know, considering, and even the other ones with maybe the exception of Scarlett Johansson, there were no big actors in the early Marvel movies, right? Like huge blockbuster people that you knew from Emmy award winning. Oh, I was saying, now everybody wants to be in the Marvel movie. <laughs> no, no. And I'm not saying they should or anything. No, but I'm, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying now, it's just like, uh, now you have uh, Angelina Jolie being in the internals. Now um, it's like, wow, that's a big, that's kind of a big uh, name. I mean, that right whole there. cast, you got Ad, you got Angelina Jolie. You had uh, who else is on there? Salma Hayek is in that one. Fucking a yeah. uh, bunch of big ass names, bro. Not even just them. So it, it is now a very popular and career thing to do to be in a Marvel movie. You, one, and it's why I wanted to mention it as maybe even the last thing we say. I gotta give props to Don Cheadle because he played the smart game, whereas right. uh, Terrence Howard went a little too hard don Cheadle knew that if he stuck around that he'd have opportunities Uh and so far he's been in four or five of these movies each right each one of the war captain america iron man one iron man three i think he came back yeah 
and now he is uh, getting his own television show, which is going to be a huge payout. There's yeah. no doubt in my mind he's getting paid some good bucks for that. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I, I want to see how how a series revolving around a what I would consider a more mainstream actor mm-hmm. develops and how it's going to turn out because Don Cheadle has some real good acting chops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Well, other than that, Oh, sorry. I was gonna say. Uh, other than that, I think that was kind of on. Like, well, I did want to wrap too with saying that uh, they. I, I forgot about this, but I didn't even think they were starting the film. But the new Predator movie just finished wrapping up. Oh yeah, so, I did remember hearing something about it. I just forgot. Uh, I forgot uh, it was really healthy. happening. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that's gonna go. Um, Hopefully, good. I'm always excited for some new Predator movies. Yeah. I just hope yeah. that they. Yeah, here's the thing. Job. It's one of those things that it's kind of like a. Um, it's kind of like a Freddy or a Jason movie or something else. Like, they, you can't really make a bad Predator movie. No. You can no. fuck it up, right? And maybe not make the best one. But at the end of the day, it's just fun to watch the Predator rip people apart. Yeah. I mean, I did like the last one because the Predators were a cool design. Like, I did like oh, yeah. the Assassin Predator. And some of the other things is cool, but... Yeah, I just it I will say I, yeah. oh, I hope they just we'll see what they do with this one. Yeah, no, no, I, and that's what I'm saying. It's not to say that they're like not super. I just want a really that. good one, like for once, is all I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what but, I'm hoping for too. You know, know, we just haven't had a really good one since two. Yeah, so, two was probably the last good one, and then after that, AVP was okay, and then AVP Requiem was like, oh, I don't know what they did there, and then Predator. Uh, remember Predator with what's his name? Uh, Andrew, yeah, the. Uh, the one with the I always say because he has kind of he does kind of a big nose. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's all right. Hey um, man, we, I got a big head. It's like everybody. Uh, yeah, he, he, that one was okay. I did like the designs of the predators, the new, the super predators they call them. That yeah yeah. They that always was all right. end up making some cool predators, but the story just never really just pans does out. Not, yeah yeah. The two so. was the only one that had a solid story through the whole thing and kind of was well written. And once again, it was made in the eighties, so we haven't had one for almost forty fucking years. Um, but I, yeah, I agree. I hope it's I good to on my list here. Uh, but yeah, I think that's good. We've kind of reached our time, and uh, I think we're at a good place to stop. For everyone who watched, we appreciate you, and hopefully, we'll catch you next time uh, here on uh, the show. Have a good one, guys. Oh <clears throat> man, I did not find the button. There it is. Okay, I've moved around all my shit, and so like, where is that? <laughs> If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.